We do better than that. Let's go. Good morning. Good if morning. Good you morning. are in the back of the room and you cannot hear me at any point, just point to your ear. I won't be offended. Andy, you can hear me just fine because you pointed your ear as soon as I said. <laughs> Today, this morning, I have about 20 minutes here to talk about pathways, which is not nearly enough time. So we're going to make this fast. We're going to focus on the very important stuff. Let's start with talking about how we did last year. Last year, a third of the awards District 47 submitted were Pathways Awards. Two thirds of our members are in Pathways. So what happened to the other third of our members that didn't submit awards last year? 80% of our officers were enrolled in Pathways at the end of last year. I don't have the list from this year yet for the new year, so I can't tell you what we're starting at, but our goal is to get every one of our officers enrolled in Pathways. That is your goal as area directors. And the last thing, before we jump into the really fun stuff with Pathways, is I need help. As Ivan said, I, I, am, I am good, but I'm not that good. I can't be in every one of your clubs. I can't be in every one of your areas. What I need from you, as you visit your clubs, find me a team. Find me somebody. They don't need to know Pathways, but they need to be able to learn and be willing to teach. You give me half an hour, I can teach anybody to use Pathways. You give me an hour, I can teach them to teach somebody else. And that's our goal, is to teach everybody to teach somebody else how to use Pathways. Now one of the things that they're finding is that our new members aren't the problem. Our new members who jump into Pathways have no problem with it. They love it. Unless they have officers who are sitting there the entire time going, oh my god, Pathways is terrible. That's where the problems start. So my challenge for you this year, this is a negativity-free zone as far as Pathways is concerned. Yes, there are some things Pathways can do better. There are some things that they can improve on. But overall, we need to be positive about the program. We need to be positive about this change. Because that's what's affecting the new members who aren't engaging in Pathways, is negativity from their clubs. Throughout the rest of the year, we'll be helping transition everybody else over to Pathways. When we ended the year last year, we were about two-thirds of the district was engaged in Pathways. On June 30th, 2020, that number better be 100% because on July 1st, they do not have a choice. Pathways is there, and the traditional program will be gone. How many of you have enrolled in Pathways? Taking your assessment, submitted, done an icebreaker, finished the level, level two. In the, in the second level, in the second path, actually. <laughs> second level in the second path, level three, four, level five. I don't remember seeing your name on the list because I haven't looked in a couple weeks. Congratulations! <laughs> we have a couple level fives in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on which path you take, it's not going to take you that long. Here's the important things to learn today. First off, Toastmasters is listening. When you send feedback saying, hey, this doesn't work, I don't like that, Toastmasters is listening. They are making tweaks to the system. For example, did you know that if you go to your member profile on Toastmasters.org, you can log directly into Basecamp now, as of about two weeks ago? When you log in, you click your name at the top of that screen where it says, Welcome, Brandon. Welcome, Brandon. For the rest of you, it'll say your name, but at least I have a Brandon in the room. It'll say, Welcome. Click on your name, and you'll see three boxes at the top of the screen where you can access everything you need through Pathways. They've made it easier to get there. Another new improvement that came out within the last few days, actually, is instead of opening a new pop-up window when you open one of your projects, it launches as a new tab. Why is that awesome? Because every time the pop-up window, it opened this big for a project that was this big. <laughs> now it opens in a new tab. You don't have to worry about resizing, losing out on your material. 
These are great changes. Toastmasters is going to continue to make these changes. I'm not always going to realize they made a change because I'm on autopilot most of the time when I log in. If you see these changes, feel free to let me know you saw something new. They don't tell me when they change something. I wish they would. They don't. Overall, our goal this year is to help everybody learn pathways. Now, there are a few simple tips and tricks we're going to talk about real quick. I asked who had started Pathways. Who hasn't started Pathways yet? OK. You have a challenge. We don't have Wi-Fi in the room, so I can't tell you to do it right now during lunch. But over the next week, log on. Take your assessment. Select a path. And if you can get on the agenda, give an icebreaker to your club before our next deck meeting. Enroll in Pathways, get that process started because you as district officers need to be able to support your clubs as they enroll in Pathways, as they engage in Pathways. And if you haven't started Pathways yet, how can you support them? I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks, make things nice and simple for you as you navigate. Because if you can navigate your icebreaker, you can navigate any project. Every project has the same structure. Is everybody ready? When you open up the project, the first thing you're gonna see is the launch page. It says, hey, you opened up your icebreaker. This is important because we've all clicked the wrong button at some point in our life. So it's important to know we actually got the right project. At the bottom of that screen, there's a drop-down menu that makes it easy to quickly navigate between everything in the project. But there are four pillars of every project that hold it all together. The first is assess your skills before. You're going to go through an introduction, you're going to learn a little bit about what the project is going to come to, and then you're going to take assess your skills before. How many like tests? There's always one. For the rest of you, this test has no wrong answers. It's all about you. Are you comfortable speaking in front of others? Are you aware of your strengths as a communicator and a leader? The last question of every self-assessment in every project in Pathways is the same. I understand how this project applies to my life outside of Toastmasters. Because how many of you joined Toastmasters to be Toastmasters? <laughs> OK. There's sometimes one. <laughs> we join Toastmasters to become better speakers and leaders out there in the real world. If we can't use the skills we're learning out in the real world, why are we learning them? When you answer that question, a submit button will appear on the screen. Click that button and save your answers. You'll need them later. At this point, you're going to go through all of the educational materials. You're going to learn some cool stuff. You're going to watch a couple videos, depending on which project you're working on. And you're finally going to come to a slide called Complete Your Assignment. This is the second of our four pillars. Complete Your Assignment has the project checklist on it, which is a fantastic resource that will tell you everything you need to do for the project. Some of them are more detailed than others. For example, the icebreaker says, write your speech, rehearse your speech, Schedule your speech, give your speech. It's a little too detailed for those of us who've been doing this for a while, but for a new member, it is fantastic. You can modify that checklist as you see fit because it's yours. The important part is give the speech and get evaluated on this speech. But complete your assignment is not the last, pro the last slide before you go and give your speech because what does every good Toastmaster speech need? An evaluation. Austin, I'm sending you a form. Fill it out for this speech, please. Thank you. <laughs> Every speech needs an evaluation. Go to one. The next slide says your evaluation. <coughs> this is the most important slide in every project because it is your one-stop shop for everything you need to complete your assignment. The first thing it has is your evaluation resource because we all need to get evaluated. The second thing it has is print my project. 
This is a PDF that you can download and save. You can email it to yourself so you can view it offline. I've got them all sitting on my Kindle. I swear I'm gonna read them one day, but I haven't yet. But they're there. I have the, that ability, and you can print them out if you prefer having something paper, or if your internet is notorious for going down right when you need it the most. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of us like that. The last thing on that slide, evaluation resource, print my project, everything below that are the other resources that were made available during your project. For example, the icebreaker has its own outline because the icebreaker is a different kind of speech. It's about the most important thing in the world, you. Okay, we need a little more self-esteem in here. You guys are the most important person in your life, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> The High Performance Leadership Project in Level 5 has a whole list of resources for your committee and for everything else that happens in that project. All of those resources are available from that one slide. Everything you need can be found right there. At this point, stop, close pathways, do not pass go, go directly to a club meeting. Give a speech, get evaluated, have some fun, learn something, maybe do a couple table topics. We all have table topics, right? Yeah. Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> At this point, you've given your speech, you've gotten evaluated, go home, log into Pathways again. Don't wait too long, you want to keep moving along in your path here. Go to the next slide, our fourth pillar. Third pillar was your evaluation. Our fourth pillar, assess your skills after. Brandon, I got another test for you. Everybody else, it's the same questions you already answered. Those exact same questions from before, you're gonna answer them again. Hopefully, your scores have improved. Hopefully, you feel more comfortable. Sometimes you feel less comfortable on stage. <laughs> We've all had that speech. Once you answer that last question and you click Submit, Basecamp says you finished the project. That is how you mark completion for your project in Basecamp. How many of you have struggled trying to figure out how do I get to the next project because it says I'm not done yet? Okay, so I've got four honest people in the room. <laughs> that is how you do it. Now, the next slide says congratulations. It's possible to get to congratulations without having clicked on submit, which is where the most common problem comes up. People call me up and say, hey, it says I'm done, but I'm not done what's going on go back a slide answer your questions click submit and life is good <laughs> and that's how you finish a project does everybody feel confident that they can navigate a project in pathways yes. I have three questions we're gonna go one two three one The mentoring program is completely separate and I don't want to confuse everybody because I only have three minutes left. The mentoring program is fantastic. It is a great side path. You do not need it to complete any of your levels. And if you have more questions about it, talk to me later. Two. Uh, I, I think you're incorrect. The uh, base camp director uh, of your club has to verify no. Is that correct or has that been changed? We're gonna I'm gonna circle back to that in just a minute. Ah. In well in the three minutes I have left. Because that's not hundred percent. Three. Well, that was kind of on what my question was. When they hit submit, that's when it goes to the base cap manager and then they have to Okay. Let's tackle that right now then, because that's what I was gonna do next anyways. Once you submitted, completed your first project. So the icebreak, let's talk level one real quick. Level one has three projects. First project is the icebreaker that we all know and love. The icebreaker is unique in that it must be the first project you do for every path you do. Until you finish the icebreaker, you won't be able to access any other projects. Once you have completed the icebreaker, the other two projects will magically appear, on, not magically, technologically, <laughs> they'll appear in your dashboard. You can access them immediately. Before your vice president education has done anything, if, once you've marked complete on the icebreaker, you get access to the next two projects. Research and presenting is one of the projects. 
And that's a nice, simple project. You're going to research something you either don't know or something you'd like to know a little bit more about, give a five to seven minute speech, and cite your sources. For example, if you say that 75% of Toastmasters in District 47 are enrolled in Pathways, you better have a source to back that up. I do. <laughs> Evaluation and feedback is in the other project in level one. It's the first project that breaks the concept that one project means one speech. Mm. Is everybody ready to, wow. to blow your minds? Wow. <laughs> because in this case, one project is three speaking opportunities. You are going to give a five to seven minute speech on whatever you want to talk about, anything at all. For example, I gave a speech on why Batman is totally bonkers and should be locked up right next to the Joker. <laughs> it's an amazing speech, you should all hear it sometime. You're gonna take the feedback you got on that speech and you're gonna give a second five to seven minute speech incorporating that feedback. You're either going to give the same speech, but better, do a different speech, but you want to make sure that that feedback is shown in your speech. And then, once you've learned to receive feedback and use it, you're going to serve as an evaluator for somebody else. Three speaking opportunities, five to seven minute speech, do it again, but better, serve as an evaluator. That's evaluation and feedback. Now, once you have completed all three of these projects, and I know it was a long road, but here's the answer to your question. Once you've completed all three of those projects, the level one completion request will be unlocked. Now, in order to submit a level completion request, you have to follow these three simple steps. First, click activate, because anytime you open a new project, you have to activate it in Basecamp first. Second, click launch, which will open up a PDF that has the exact same instructions I'm giving you right now. Close the PDF and click Mark Complete, at which point your Basecamp manager, President, Vice President Education, Secretary, will receive an email saying, hey, so-and-so has finished their project, please go in and approve it so that they continue with their path. That is where, that is the first time that the Vice President Education has anything to do with you moving forward in your path. We good? You understand? Two and three. I've had people that have gone beyond three and four, and I've never gone to anything. Homestead Toastmasters, right? Yes. Yeah, we've talked. I think somebody was approving stuff in your I'm club. I'm the one, and it still does. I. There was. I'm a speed reader. We we've talked. And this whole thing about the computers. For everybody else, though, that's submit until the level completion request is submitted. The Vice President of Education doesn't get anything. You can't move forward without that. Last question, Brandon, and then I gotta get yanked off the stage. If you belong to two clubs, how do you get the level completion assigned to the club of your choice? The level completion request, make sure you're logged into the club. When you first open Basecamp, it lets you select which club you're logging in as. If you're only a member of one club, you'll never see that, don't worry about it. But for everybody else, it's a drop-down menu. Select your club, log in. Once you submit that request, it'll go to that VPE. If you want to get it approved and then submit it to a different club, tell your VPE. Communicate what's going on so that there's no confusion there. I am out of time. If you have more questions, I will be here through lunch. Please come talk to me. You can also send me an email bkinsey at toastmastersd47.org. I am notoriously easy to find. Please reach out with your questions. I will be at all of the TLIs stateside. Ask questions there. Attend the Pathways sessions. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our next speaker, your club growth director, and he will be presenting on Establish and Support New Clubs. Please help me welcome Andy Byrne. He was standing there, I assume we were just going for it. Don't mind, he always stands up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you enjoy Brandon's presentation? Yeah. All right. You all feel like you learned something? Yeah. 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 Y